Okay, guys. So today's video is going to be a little different. I have this um, child's small shirt here. Um, it's a 12-month shirt. And I want to put... That's just a little t-shirt. I want to put this design on the shirt. Um, so we're going to be using some of the Arteza heat transfer vinyl. And this is pretty easy to do. Um, it, I know some of you have the silhouette and you're a little more wary of trying it out. Um, but this is how I started with like cut and print kind of design. So heat transfer vinyl is the same kind of idea. Now bear with me because I am holding my surface up so I can film this. So I've gotten this design from the Silhouette store and I only want to cut out at this point the red. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, right click on your design, which I've already done. Let me show you guys what I did here. Let me back it up here. All right, so this is how the design comes. And I'm using a regular PC. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with a Mac. Um, and by the way, if you want awesome tutorials, go to Silhouette School on YouTube. She does tutorials on everything. Um, and she's very step-by-step -step in explaining it. Go there. I only use my Silhouette recreationally and just to have fun. Um, but anyway, so here's your design. Here's how it comes. And then I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to go down to Ungroup. Okay? Once you ungroup it, it's going to put boxes around all of the words. So I want to just remove the words that are in red. So I'm just going to drag them over to my cutting... Um, mat. Okay, so these are the words I want to cut out in red. I'm going to leave these over here to the left. At this point, I want to change my settings so that it's on the Silhouette Cameo. And I am using a 12 by 12 sheet, although it's not going to matter because this is how I have it on my mat. I do have a cutting mat in the machine. And then I want to set it to cut. So we are going to sorry I'm not they move some of the icons around here we should be okay to cut we should just be able to hit start and cut it cameo we're good there yeah we're not scanning anything where's my cut at Oh my gosh, you guys. See, it's been so long since I've used it. Oh, done, Nancy. Right there where it says send. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hit send, which was in the top right corner up here, right? And then we're going to go over here to cut. You also want to change the material that you're cutting. So I'm going to be using heat transfer vinyl. So you find that on here. So this is regular heat transfer vinyl, which is smooth. I went too far. All right, heat transfer smooth. Okay, and what it's done now is it's outlined, I know the image is in red, but it's outlined the image in red. By the way, I measured what size I needed this to be in terms of the whole design for the shirt, okay? The other thing it's going to tell you here is what is the depth you need to have your blade at. Don't worry about speed, force, and passes. It will do all that on its own. And then if you want to test cut it, you can hit test and send. Now, we're going to move over to the machine, which is next to my computer here. And you can see I have two notes on my machine. HTV mirror the design and shiny side down. So this heat transfer vinyl is red. I have the shiny side down and the backing up. So I need to mirror my image. So if I didn't go over there and look at that, I would have forgotten. So we are going to right click. Actually, left click. We're going to choose our design. We're going to hit edit. We might have to go back because I have it in cutting. Okay, so go back to the design space and then edit it. There we go. Right click, 
and we are going to flip it horizontally. So now the design is mirrored. Okay, if I didn't have that note, you know, I, I used to have a note on my monitor too, but I changed monitors. All right, so now we're going to send it to our machine. And what I need to do is change my blade to setting number two. So on the machine, we're going to unlock. And then down here is the little hole and you can see there's an extra piece of vinyl stuck on this that our blade is set to number seven right now. You see that? Okay, so we're gonna put this in this little hole here. It's like a little key and we're gonna turn it a couple times until it's at number two. I went one too many. we're good there. Let me just double check this little piece of vinyl is stuck on my finger. Hold on Leah. Leah's also playing a video game and needs a little help. All right that doesn't feel like it's down far enough. I think I went too far. All right, there you can barely feel the blade. Okay, so we have it at number two. All right, so we're gonna put it back in the machine. Tighten that, machine's on, it's loaded on the mat. We know that it is upside down and mirrored. So now we're gonna hit cut. So down here, and if you wanna test it, you can test it. I'm brave and I'm just not gonna test it because I'm lazy like that. All right, now it's saying you're using heat transfer vinyl. Is your design mirrored? I've already mirrored it, mirrored it, so I'm going to send it as is. That's a new feature that wasn't on here before. And by the way, I am using um, this pack of Arteza heat transfer vinyl, and it's this multicolor. Um, so we'll see. They are 10 by 12 sheets. You get 14 different colors. And I am using red for this design. So it's cutting. All right, so while that cuts, I'm gonna go back over to the design space. And we're gonna work on the design. And we want to cut this out now. So I'm going to take these off and move them over to this side of the screen. And these I want to be cut out in green. And it's up to you how you want to space them. I like to leave a little space so I can cut them out of the vinyl. Okay. And then same thing, we're going to hit send. And now it's telling me the cutting's complete. It's quiet on the first machine. And at this point, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to load the green vinyl. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so I have now sent this through and this is, I think it's Oracle HTV. I'm not sure. I got it from the vinylspectrum.com. Um, but this is some leftover green that I had. Why is it cutting over there? Oh, no. Oh, I know why. Because I sent it through mirrored. Okay, so we're going to pause it. We're going to cancel the job. Good thing I saw that. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. Whoopsie. One of the things I did have to do, and I'll show you guys in a second, was... I didn't realize this had a, a thick backing on it, so I changed my blade on, this is the red Arteza. I changed the blade setting to number four. All right, so let's unload this. Just gonna spit it out, we're gonna put it back in. I'm trying to do this one-handed here, bear with me. Okay, so the reason it did that is because I said, um, 
send it over mirrored because I didn't mirror it. So let me go back to the design space. See that there. And I'm going to right click and flip everything horizontally because I want it to cut on this side of the vinyl, not on the other side of the vinyl. It just assumed when I wanted it flipped that I wanted it on the other side of the vinyl. Okay, so we should be okay to send this now. And we're going to cancel the original and send it over again. I'm sending it as is because I've already mirrored it. This should not take very long to cut because these are tiny, tiny letters. All right, so while that's cutting, I'm going to set you guys up on the desk. Desk. Um, because the next part is going to be weeding. So hold on a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully this is not upside down. So I have my Arteza vinyl and this is my other vinyl. And we're going to remove them from the backing. And then the next thing you want to do is cut down your pieces to size. Now I know it's hard. You guys can't see. But the words are cut out here on the red. And all I'm going to do is just take scissors or you can take a paper trimmer and cut these down. So we only want the sections that we know are cut through. And we want to save this vinyl for other projects. Same thing on this guy. Now, if you have a hard time seeing, one of the tricks that you can do... Is you can take your powder tool. So this is an EK6X powder tool. We use it in rubber stamping. And you can pounce that over and it will stick in the lines. The little cornstarch there will stick in the lines and you'll be able to see the letters a little better. Can you see that? I don't know if the light's going to pick that up. Okay, so we're just going to cut those words out. Okay, now the next part is called weeding. And you want to have some kind of a sharp tool. They sell these orange handled ones at the, um, what's that store called? Harbor Freight, which is like a men's, well, not a men's, a tool store. I don't want to say men's store, but it's like a tool store, the hardware section, hardware store. So this is a silhouette one. These are the ones you can pick up at a Harbor Freight for very, very inexpensively. I like this one because it does have a very sharp point to it. And we're going to pull off everything that is not a letter. And I you have to bear with me. I know you guys can't see. All right, so there is this clear backer we want to keep that on there and we are pulling off anything that's not part of what we want to iron on and again because this is heat transfer it's basically an iron on and you want to take your time it's not sticky so it's a lot easier than regular vinyl regular vinyl gets sticky and sticks all over your fingers and everything else this is not sticky because it's not activated until it gets ironed Now, if this had not cut all the way through, I don't think that it had cut through on the number two setting. So I had sent it through again on the number four setting just to be safe on the blade setting. So Arteza number four on the cut settings for heat transfer vinyl. And again, if you're ever not sure, do that um, test blade setting. All right, so I'm just going to show you here where we're at with this. So 
then there's some little center pieces in the letters here and you're just going to take your pick and pull those off and discard them you do not need them we're not going to be reusing them for anything okay so this is the first word cute And if you have a hard time knowing what should be left and what should be kept, flip the image over and look at it. So I know this is the word good. I know that the center needs to come out of the G and the bottom needs to come out. You can always go back to your computer screen and look at the screen and look at the design as well. Sometimes there's some intricate pieces in these and you're like, what do I pull out and what, what do I leave? And you just have to go and line it up with your computer screen to know what to pull out okay so I'm going to pause you guys again and I'm just going to continue oops going through and re and weeding these letters these words so this is the red cute and good and I'm going to go back to this one which is I believe the word who Now this one, it doesn't look like it wants to separate from the vinyl. Anytime you have a tough spot like that where it just didn't cut for whatever reason, maybe there was an air bubble under the vinyl, do not try to just rip it off of there. Try to get as much as you can off. Cut off any of the excess. And I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and trace right where um, it missed. So this is just a tiny little X-Acto knife and I can see where it was supposed to cut and it just didn't go through. That should be pretty clean. There we go. And it's just sometimes your vinyl's not stuck down to your mat, or you have like paper left over on your mat, or vinyl from the last time you cut, and it just doesn't go all the way through, or an air bubble. All right. So I'm going to continue on here with. The green ones, they're going to take a little more time, so I'm not going to make you sit through that. I'm going to pause you, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, so I've weeded the letters. This one I had a little bit of a problem with the O. It didn't cut all the way through, so I had to do the craft knife on that. I might have to pull that little inside piece off of there. Totally missed cutting the inside of the O. 
which is weird. Okay, anyway, now I want to cut these letters individually, and you can do this before you weed it too. I just left them all together. Okay, and now we're going to assemble it on the shirt the way we want it. So we're going to start with who. needs to and we kind of want to make sure we're doing this straight I'm just kind of eyeballing it B and the the backing sticky and you want to make sure if you're going to be overlapping that you are not overlapping your letters your vinyl on top of the other the previous plastic. So I know you guys can't see, but this plastic goes down a little bit onto the letter. So making sure that my vinyl is not stuck to that plastic. Oops. It's who needs to be good, not cute. Everybody wants to be cute. Okay. Who needs to be good? to cut this a little bit so if the if the backer piece is hanging down and it's in your way cut as much of it off as you need to cut off all this is doing is just holding our letters into place All right, who needs to be good when you're cute? I feel like it's missing a this, like you're this cute, but that's okay. So now all we're going to do is you want to just eyeball it, make sure it's straight. Hey, of course, if you wanted to measure it, use a board to measure it and line it up, go right ahead. I don't like to do that. I just kind of wing it. And if it's crooked, well, I hope that it's not. And if it is, I try to straighten it. Okay, who needs to be good when you're cute? Okay, now what we're going to do is I put a little, um, like a Teflon, you know, like those little Teflon ink, um, the Tim Holtz mats over mine, and I just press it with a regular iron, and I hold it in, and then you want to make sure that it is completely cooled. So I'm going to go do that, and once again, I will be right back. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I ironed it on, and then all you do is you just pull off the clear backing. There is a tiny little boo-boo there where I didn't listen to myself, and I had stuck that over the backing there. So um, I will probably just cut out a tiny little piece of red and tack that down. Not enough to cut out a new leather. Um, but overall, I think it's cute. It's good for... A kid who's probably going to only wear it two or three times before they outgrow it. Um, but that's how you do heat transfer vinyl. And again, I use the Arteza heat transfer vinyl here, which worked, in my opinion, as good as the standard heat transfer vinyl, which I got from, um, what was it again? Vect vinylspectrum.com. The Arteza you can get online 
at Amazon. And it's really reasonably priced. And like I said, you get all those sheets of different colors if you just want to try this out. So there you go, guys. Just some basics on using heat transfer vinyl with your silhouette. If you have any questions, post them below. And again, if you want more in-depth instructions, I would go to Silhouette School. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I believe she also has a blog. Lots and lots of information on there. I'm just doing this for fun for you guys. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.